Hello, Darkfish friends. My goodness me, what a rally Sweden we have just experienced. One of the most enjoyable, entertaining and exciting rallies, David, that I can remember in quite some time. It was it was dramatic oh, right to the end. A bit of everything, didn't it, Cole? Absolutely. And that added bit of drama oh. on, the, on the power stage. <laughs> on the power stage. Goodness me. Incredible. Wouldn't have happened in a Damo's day, would it? <laughs> we'll come to that. We'll come to that. If you're wondering what we're talking about, we'll come yeah. to that shortly. But we have to kick this one off by talking about Oit Tanak. M Sports and that magnificent Ford Puma. Uh, it's a long time, it's Monte Carlo last year since we saw a Puma driver on the top step of the podium. Uh, just the most fantastic rally. They played down their chances all week, David. But Malcolm that, didn't in Monte, though, did he? Malcolm didn't, <laughs> but it's that combination, isn't it? You've got a car which yeah. they found reliability in, which is more than adequate. You've got a driver who's fired up and who is, you know, pretty much close to the top of his game. You put the two together. And you've always got a chance. Uh, totally. And that's just it, Cole. You know, they had a chance. Mm. Um, and, and they used it. You know, Tanek was, he was, you know, he thought from Friday afternoon he could control it. Yeah. Not control it. He thought he was there. He thought he could win it. He was in yeah. with a shot. Um, and that, you know, Oit Tanak, Rally Sweden, <clears throat> a car that's in the ballpark, yeah. he's going to be there. He is. And control. I would say it mm. was a very controlled drive from Oit Tanak. You know, there was never any enormous moments. Yes, he had the issue with the delamination, but my goodness me, he handled that extremely, extremely well. I think we're now calling well. it a puncture. Are we, are we calling it a puncture? Tanax? Yeah, yeah I don't I know what we're calling it. So it's OK, Tanax puncture yeah. on the Saturday afternoon. Brilliant uh, called it a puncture. So we, we can call it a puncture. We, we'll call it a puncture. But yeah. you, you, just to pick you up there, you, you're right, because, you know, we saw this as like Tanak taking this car by the scruff of the neck, but he made no mistakes. And it. Uh, we said it last night that it was that, that element of absolute... Brutal speed, but control. Yeah, look, taking the car by the scruff of the neck was Finland last year, and it really was. It was on the ragged edge mm. the whole time. This was a long way from that. A like long, he said, he didn't, he didn't actually remember winning a stage here. Yeah, he did. I think he did. Did he? Can't remember. But anyway, it was a magnificent Go to EWRC performance. Go EWRC-results.com. You'll That's find the place that to exactly go. It was a magnificent result from M Sport, from Oit Tanak. Uh, you know, it really sets them up nicely for the mm -hmm. season. Let's hear from Oint at the end of the rally. This weekend, um, yeah, when we came into the rally, we, we really didn't know what to expect. Now, uh, coming here, I mean, during the rally, we could understand we are never going to be the fastest, but uh, we were able to keep our uh, average pace, pace, uh, pace quite high. And, and uh, thanks to that, you know, other guys around were doing some mistakes and, and uh, going a bit inconsistent. So uh, I would say uh, that's... That's how we maximised our uh, chances. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely an emotional win. Uh, I mean, uh, coming here in a, in a, in a in a small team like Gamesport, fighting against big manufacturers, you know, and and uh, delivering a win in first time on gravel car, uh, it's it's a big thing for everyone. And we know there is uh, quite a lot to do, and and uh, we need to definitely pick up to to be championship contenders over the year. But uh, you know, I'm I'm sure these boys uh, boys are keen, so they're happy to do it. Well, many congratulations to Oit and to Martin. Uh, do you know what? It's a little while since an M Sport car led the championship because that's what this result does for Tanak. Mm. It takes him to the top of the championship. Uh, David, you know, fantastic result for all of them, in particular for the M Sport boss, for Malcolm Wilson. Oh, absolutely. It, it repays everything. All of the investment, all of the stress of trying to get Tanak at the back end of last year, trying to put that deal together, trying to finance that deal. You know, Malcolm really puts himself through the ringer with oh. these things. Um, and, and it's great. You know, it's, you always see that bit of emotion with him. And it was there when we spoke to him. Absolutely. Let's hear from Malcolm. It's just great to be back on the top step of the podium. Um, never doubted the ability in the car and the team and everything. But uh, I have to say, we, we probably came here not expecting to get this result. That's not what you said in Monty. No, but um, I felt, you know, we, we know we've still got work to do. Uh, we know that we can improve the car more to suit Oit's liking. So <clears throat> at the end of the day, this rally is down to him. You know, we haven't been the fastest car, but um, his experience, his ability, as, uh, it's, it's him that's done the job for us. And it's, you know, OK, the guys are doing a great job, but it's Oit Tanak that's won this rally. So the battle was, was wonderful, wasn't it, between Oit Tanak and Craig Breen all weekend. Really a strange situation this one, isn't it? They've swapped cars 
both yeah. struggling. Tanak struggled in the Hyundai. Berean couldn't drive the Puma. They swapped cars and we enjoy on the second rally of the season the most incredible battle. I think when we came out of stage 13, 12 or 13, there was 0.5 of a second, a second yeah. between them. Craig Breen, we all saw his performance on the Friday and we thought, well, we kind of expected that. The road got hugely quicker the more cars that went through it. But for me, the Saturday was what defined Breen and what redeemed Breen and what really showed us that Craig Breen will be a force in that car this year. He will. Saturday morning, we said that first stage, the first two stages, the first one was quite short, the second one was a bit longer. It was what he needed. He needed for his own self-confidence, a rebuilding process, he's done it. Um, so it, it's something for Craig to really kick on from here. And really, really important for the team. And that's exactly what you want in your third driver, isn't it? You know, yeah. clearly there was uh, the problems for Lappy yesterday afternoon, dropped him back a little bit. Uh, you, and you want your third driver to be there or thereabouts. He was more than there or thereabouts. He was doing exactly what the team he was, did. In fact, he was absolutely more than there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. And I mean, to talk about that, you know, it was a really difficult one. You had to, obviously we were referring to the fact that uh, that they they'd given Breen the penalty mm. uh, and to move Thierry ahead to give Thierry the position, which you would do. Any team should do that. You know, we were quite surprised, a little bit surprised mm. that Toyota didn't even consider it with Ogier and Rovenpera in in Monte. Hyundai set their stall out very early, minute penalty, ten yeah. seconds. Sort, of set, sort, sort yourselves out, and then it all goes a bit pear-shaped. It, it, in, was, it in, was always so marginal. It, it was, and you've got to feel some sympathy for them because yeah. they did all they could do. They couldn't give him a two-minute penalty because that would have dropped Breen behind behind Calais. It was messy, yeah. um, and, yeah. you know, we joke it wouldn't happen with Adamo. There's not a lot more that Andrea Adamo could have done. done. No. It, I'm sure he would have worked his magic somehow. Uh, but Thierry, I mean, simply, Thierry went off. Do you know what? I, 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 guess, I guess when they did it, when Hyundai decided to give them the penalty, they must have known, look, this is a chance. This doesn't guarantee anything. It is a chance yeah. of giving Nouville the extra I, points. And, you know, what, what Craig said was it was so marginal. He had six seconds between himself and Robin Perra mm. in a power stage. So difficult to judge your pace. He got his pace right. Problem was that Thierry made those couple of and, and, and it's it's right, you know, ordinarily, a driver will know how not to lose a second per mile on any other stage. Going to a power stage where Calais absolutely on the door handles, it's a lot harder. A lot harder. Uh, but it's fair to say Craig Breen was a very, very happy man at the end of the rally. Obviously, yeah, it's uh, just an, an amazing feeling to finish off the weekend like this. It's been uh, a fairly horrid, you know, 12 months, more than 12 months. So, wait one second, Mammy's here. We have a good you Well done. Well done. I knew that I had it inside me. Uh, there was a lot of factors that were holding me back. and. Um, it was important that I worked on them over the over the winter, try to get everything rectified, and uh, it just all feels good now. Yeah. How difficult was it to keep your uh, your mental strength with all that went on around you last year? Because you know, in terms of physical strength, in terms of your abilities, they would never have gone. But it's the mental strength that sometimes is difficult to maintain. Yeah, it's not. It's it wasn't easy. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a struggle at times, and you know, I live uh, I live in the moment. I'm one of these kind of people. I live off the good moments, live off the good times, and. I wasn't having any basically, uh, so it was taking me to go back and do my, my historic bits and pieces, and that was where I was getting my enjoyment from. And you know, I should be getting serious enjoyment from driving these cars. You know, at the top of top of the game, really. And uh, you know, definitely this weekend has has given me all that satisfaction, all those nice feelings that uh, you know make me make me get up early in the morning and, and keep doing this. Craig Bean is a special character, David, and it's great to see that again, mm. isn't it? You know, we all really enjoy his emotion, we enjoy his humour, we enjoy oh, totally. his smile, we smile with him. When Craig smiles, the rally world smiles, yeah. and we didn't see really very much of it at all last year. It's very much back. Totally, absolutely back, and let's just, you know, long may it continue. Long may it continue now. The man who finished in third place, again, the man who's mounting a championship challenge this year, it's the number one driver from Hyundai. Hoped he'd finish in second with a little bit of mm. tactics that were going on. Uh, Thierry Neuville, you have to say, a good result from Thierry Neuville. He had a very disrupted build-up. Yeah, it, it was messy, wasn't it? You know, he, he, he seemed to knock pretty much every corner off the car through Friday. Um, and it was difficult not of ha having that second day's test. I think as well, there's a psychological element to that bit as well, that you're thinking, everybody else has had two yeah. days, or the other people in the team yeah. had two days. I've only had one, I'm only 50% prepared. Saturday, he was epic. He, he really was, was epic. He was, he was totally on it. 
uh, at every point. And really, you know, for me, that's one of the more sort of underrated performances of the rally is yeah. what he actually achieved through through Saturday. Yeah, he, uh, he really, he really it, did. You know, he really was on the pace on Saturday. He picked things up on Saturday. He looks at his time. He certainly talked yeah. about that. His time in comparison to Cali Rovan Perez time and it was it was really really impressive there was nothing between them there literally no. was nothing between them and, and I kind of thought that you know Cali got through would get through Friday find his, his rhythm in that place on the road on Saturday Sunday and, and slowly sort of move ahead or quite quickly mm -hmm. move ahead but he didn't you know yeah. there were some other issues that, that Cali was dealing with the car uh, but no absolutely hats off to Thierry he did a great job here this is what he said when we caught up with him at the end of the rally Actually, I made a small mistake. Um, the gap was small with Quack, so I tried to do well, but the feeling wasn't the same as uh, in the previous stage. Um, I softened probably too much the car, and I struggled with the, with the feeling. So, uh, yeah, uh, we lost our second position. But anyhow, um, the target was to stay ahead of Kalle. Um, would have loved a bit more points in the power stage as well, but all in all, we have done a decent weekend. So that's our one, two, three at the end of what has been a wonderful rally of Sweden. But David, there were plenty of talking points, weren't there, during the course of the rally. What else uh, did you pick up on? I guess you'd, you'd have to look at Toyota's start to the year with a, with a one, two in, in Monty. Uh, and nowhere on the podium here. Is it a drama? According to Tom Fowler, Tom Fowler knows better than any of us. It's not a drama. Mm. You know, it's, it's, it's a specific event, event specific thing. So... It's nothing to worry about, but it, for me, that it was quite a surprise. Oh, I think it has to be. You know, um, Tom's saying it's nothing to worry about. Um, it is, of course it is. You know, okay, they were, when we went to Rob and Yemi, um, they didn't win that one, did they? So Tanak won that one there. Uh, Tom's point was, it, look what look, look what Calais lost on that, on that first day, and that's exactly what Calais said. In one stage, 30 seconds, take that away, he's in the fight. And as we've said a million times, when you're in the fight, it brings that 10th, 10th, yeah and that ability to, to engage more, and that issue... But that, that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the second pass issue that you yeah, have, particularly but, today. No, because I think if you are in the fight, you push the car that bit harder, and you're in some way more in the zone, that perhaps, yes, the car, the physics of the car is still moving around, but you're finding that extra bit of bravery, bit of commitment to carry the car and give that bit more speed. I'm sure if Calais had been... 10 seconds in the lead, which he may well have been had he been in, in a, towards the back of the field on Friday, he would have been absolutely in there. Yes, as I say, the physics would still have been there and it would have still been difficult, but it's di it's a different right. scenario. I suppose we, we really have to talk as well about WRC2. In fact, we really do have to talk about it. Oliver Solberg is having the most fantastic start to the year. It was a battling performance. It wasn't the dominant performance that maybe a few people expected. Here. My goodness, yeah, there was character. Oh. No, he, no, he, he, battled. he fought and he battled, and, and there was real character, I think, in the way he went about it. At, at every point where he, you know, he was third fastest on a stage, he, he knew what had happened, he knew where he was with the car, yeah, but, but then he, and he took his time, no problem, totally relaxed, and then he found the, 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 the rhythm of the car in the quick stuff, Put a hammer down, away he goes. Well, a word as well for our WRC3 winner. It's another young flying fin, a good friend of Cali Rovin Perez. He's a young lad that David and I met in Mexico last year. It's Rupa Corhoran. He had a great run there. But the final words and the final you know, praise has to go to young Will Crichton in the JWRC. He had a massive lead at one point. He had nearly a minute's lead, David. He lost nearly all of it when the bonnet sprung up and smashed the windscreen. He then had to fight... And he was chasing down today. Remind me who it was. was Laurent it? Pellier. Laurent. R Laurent Pellier. Oui, Laurent, oui, Pellier. Laurent Pellier. It went right, right down to the wire. It doesn't get much closer than this. Well, well, well done indeed. Six Winner. tenths of a second. Point oh. six off a second. Sorry, did I just Drama. steal your thunder? You did. I was <laughs> building it. I was I building thought you'd it. Forgotten. Building. No, no. It's all about Imagine drama, that. David. Sorry. We're heading to Mexico next. We're heading to the sunshine. Once again, Oik Tanak leads the World Rally Championship. It's a long time since we said that. Ipuma leads the World Rally Championship. Can't wait for Mexico, folks. Thank you very much for joining us this week on Dirtfish.com. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you along with us.